According to statistics from the Association of Kenya Feed Manufacturers, there are over 150 million who produce about 500,000 metric tons of commercial feed stuff annually, which translates to 41,000 metric tons per month. However, in the recent past, there have been concerns about the quality and safety of the animal feeds in the market. With raw materials purchased based on net weight rather than nutrient content, CAB's managing director Charles Ongoa says and ethical practices by raw material suppliers have been reported in the market. The manufacturers claim most malpractices practices include adultering the raw materials by adding sand in order to increase net weight to accrue more profits. Speaking to players in the sector, Ongoa said an act of parliament to regulate the importation, manufacture and sale of animal foodstuffs and substances of animal origin intended for the manufacture of such products came into operation last year and players should adhere to it. To better regulate the sector, Ongoa is warning animal feed manufacturers and importers of prosecution if they continue flouting the new guidelines. Some of the new guidelines require that farms must have a certificate of incorporation by register of companies, licensed premises by the regulator, demonstrate capacity to manufacture animal feeds, and maintain records of certificate of analysis of raw materials as per approved labs from the country of origin. With the advent of the mandatory product certification scheme, there has been a steady increase of animal feed farms that have placed the request to be certified by CABS, raising from 100 to 260 farms. Kenya imports over 70% of the raw materials needed for manufacturing animal feeds, the bulk of which consists of cotton seed cake, sunflower cake, maize by products like maize jam, maize bran, wheat pollard, fish meal and salt green, mainly imported from neighbors Uganda and Tanzania. Nicholas Ndwati, Newsawa Business.